Happy Halloween everyone, I'm Tom and today we are going to be returning to the Mansions of Madness. I can't believe it's been a year since the last time, and probably seven years since the first time. I have decided to do the Dark reflection scenario. I've never done this scenario before, it always sounds really intriguing, but perhaps for good reason. I mean, look at the playtime there. A lot of scenarios with that kind of playtime tend not to get picked at game night, but we're picking it here and we'll see how that goes. Before we get started, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel. Any mistakes I make will be corrected there. Thanks, Steve. And if you would like to support the channel, there are ways to do that in the description on Patreon and Ko-fi. Anything would be massively appreciated and it's the reason that I can do any of this in the first place. Thanks, everyone. So the synopsis tells us that aspiring novelist Ada Miller insisted something was wrong with the country estate she inherited from her great aunt. Her publisher believed it was all Ada's writerly imagination until she missed her deadline and the train back to Arkham she swore she was taking. Now you must uncover what caused Ada to vanish and what she feared in her isolated country manor. And this is one of the uh, DLC scenarios you can get in Mansions of Madness. There are three, I think, so you could, it's $4.99. I think that's dollars that I saw. I can't see how much I paid for it because I have it, but they go on sale every now and then. I think I picked it up for $1.99. Yeah, as well as the box scenarios that you can get, you can also buy a few just scenarios on their own. Let's see, we have Daniela Reyes, the mechanic, Gloria Goldberg, the author, who is, I believe, from the first edition of Mansions of Madness, but you can get that or an incredibly rare and out of print now uh, pack that includes the investigators and tiles and things from the first edition. And we've also got Finn Edwards, the bootlegger. The app tells us what we get to start with, and we each start with a single clue. So we have Finn Edwards, who has eight health, six sanity. Once per round, he can move a space before or after performing a search action. Threes and fours for his stats, nothing particularly amazing, but nothing bad either. He's got some mutation juice as an action. He can improve his agility and then discard the card. And he's been given the wither spell to try and do some damage to our foes. Gloria Goldberg, who has seven health, seven sanity. At the start of her turn, if she has no clues, she gets a clue. Force for most things, a little weak at strength though. She can discard her candles to convert all of her magnifying glasses to successes when casting a spell. And she does have a spell, Poison Mist, which is an attack that can be used in an adjacent space to a monster. And then Daniela Reyes has eight health, six sanity. When a puzzle is solved, you may either gain two clues or discard a horror. And she is great at strength, to contrast against Gloria. Uh, she has a thermos for an action that can discard a damage and become focused and then flip this card. And they've each got a clue, so we are ready to begin. You leave the last vestiges of civilization behind, taking a road that is nothing more than hard-packed dirt. Only when the ancient gnarled trees of the country give way to a large clearing do you first see the lonesome, dilapidated manor where the missing woman was last seen. Ada Miller, the former society columnist for the Arkham Advertiser, recently quit her job after inheriting this desolate estate and a large amount of money from her great aunt. Ada told everyone she was going to use her inheritance to be a novelist. Two days ago, she called her publisher in a panic from this gloomy mansion. She swore she would be back to Arkham on the next train. Unfortunately, she never arrived. The tile floor of the entrance hall is old and cracked. The furniture is worn, but the lack of dust indicates that someone has tidied this room recently. In the silence of the mansion, you can only hear the shifting of your companions and your own breathing. An ugly series of scratches mar the far wall. Thick oak doors lead deeper into the mansion, and we are in our first investigator phase. So if you've never played Mansions of Madness, each investigator gets two actions on their turn. We decide who goes when. Now Finn's special action was that he can move a space before or after doing a search action. And search is the yellow question mark. So Finn is going to move his free space and then his first action is going to be to interact with this search token. So to do that, we just press it on the app. And then this symbol next to search means that it's going to cost him an action. That's okay. The scratches appear to be recent, though you cannot identify what might have caused them. You step back and recognize familiar shapes in the scratches. Tap to attempt the puzzle using observation. So we're going to be given a puzzle here. Let's have a look at what it is. Oh, it's a sliding puzzle. Okay, so... You use your observation stat for this, which is going to be four. So one action gets you four moves in the puzzle, and you can spend clues to increase those steps. You can always do it as both of your actions as well if you wanted to. So I'm thinking this has got to be here, right? So the wall lines up. That seems to line up now in the top middle as well. And it does look like the top of an A in the middle there. So that looks okay. And then it just looks like the bottle needs swapping. There we go. Three moves, not too bad. 
Puzzle completed. You recognise backwards letters carved among the other scratches. The word the letters spell out is leave. Gain a clue and discard this search token. Okay, well clues aren't a bad thing to have. And Finn's got one. He has got another action, but I think he is going to use his mutation juice and improve his agility and then discard this. Might as well do it now. So he's got a plus for his agility if uh, anything calls for it. Daniela is going to start us off exploring. She is going to move one space in here. The move action gives you two spaces and she can continue that movement once she is out. So she is going to explore over here. A solid oak door leads to another area of the house. Let's explore that. The dining room and kitchen are in a state of mild disarray. Only one chair has been pulled up to the dining table while the rest are stacked in the corner, a pile of discarded furniture sheets next to them. The kitchen cabinets hang open, revealing little to nothing within. Another of the house's oak doors leads off to an area connected to the kitchen. Recently dated handwritten pages are strewn all over the table. A paper that looks as though it were ripped from a book has been weighed down under a glass of water. And the app tells us you may move a space into the explored area. So I think we're actually going to skip that because we've got a movement left. Daniela is going to use her second movement to get into this space. I think Gloria is going to follow Daniela. So two movements. And then she is going to search here. The sheet of paper has a stylized bird drawn on it. Surrounded in strange symbology that gives you an uneasy feeling. So we're going to need a law check. Gloria's law is four. And four dice is going to give us one success and a magnifying glass. You know, at the start of her turn, if Gloria hasn't got clues, she gains them. So I think we are going to spend this clue to turn a magnifying glass into a success. So she got two successes there. We can pop that into the app and see if that's enough. You recognize the bird as a whippoorwill and the arcane symbology as used in rituals to procure great knowledge at a terrible price. Underneath the drawing is a note in loopy handwriting. Great Aunt Seraphina seems obsessed with these symbols. They're all over her books and even some of her jewelry. Must find their history. Plot for a novel? Gain a clue. Well, she gets it back. And then I think that is it for this round. So we end the investigative phase. Everyone's had their turn and enter the mythos phase. The sky on the horizon flashes briefly, and after a few moments, you hear the distant rumble of thunder. No immediate effect. So we continue with our investigator phase. So I think we're going to start off with Daniela. She is going to interact with the stuff on the table here. The pages all appear to be drafts of letters intended to be sent to Ada's publisher. Most of them start with how settling into and cleaning the house has been going before trailing off. The most recently dated letter begins, I'm not sure if you'll believe me, but I need to and then the looping handwriting stops abruptly. Gain a clue. So Danielle has got a couple now. And actually, when a puzzle was solved, it doesn't have to be Daniela solving the puzzle. Uh, she can gain two clues. So she's got quite an array of them now, should she need them. The letters are of little use, but as you move them around, you uncover a slim journal. Gain the old journal unique item. The investigator holding the old journal unique item can read through its entries by interacting with it in the app. And then I think she could explore over here. So it's another solid oak door, according to the app. Oh, and we have a great big hallway here. So perhaps unusually early, we're having to zoom out here. An empty hall stretches toward the back of the house. Someone has dragged out an old dented toolbox. Though most of the tools from it appear to be too old to be of use, one is in respectable condition. So we've got a crowbar here that could be picked up for an action. Down here, a shelf has been shifted awkwardly away from the wall, revealing a door and identical doors lead to rooms leading off the hall. So I wonder if these are gonna connect up with where Finn was going. Perhaps not. So we can move a space into the explored area. So I think Daniela's gonna go there. So she did the search token, she has explored, so that is it. So Gloria kind of should follow her, right? She could explore in here. <laughs> Finn is a little bit on his own. He's got his wither spell. He's got his um, tough guy agility. Let's see what Finn finds first before Gloria makes her decision. Finn finds first. Uh, so Finn will explore through here. It's another solid oak door and it is leading to some more hallways. A long hall wraps through the center of the house. One wall of it is entirely covered in cloth. We need a little door there. A tapping noise is coming from the cloth covered wall. The corner of a rug has been pulled back revealing a trap door and more of the house's identical oak doors line the hall. One of these oak doors has been modified to include a lock. So Finn may move one space in. So he's still got a movement left, hasn't he? He is going to go in here, but that's going to be it for this turn. He's moved, he's explored, that's his two actions. I think we'll hope to meet up here. 
Gloria is going to follow Daniela and she is going to explore in here. It looks like a pretty big mansion. So let's see what we find. Another solid oak door with Gloria peeking in there. This room has been cleaned recently, but other than that does not appear to be inhabited. This is the master bedroom tile. An old grimoire has been shoved under the leg of the side table. An object hanging against the wall has been covered with a sheet. The sheet is stained with a strange inky substance. And she may move one space in. Well, she will, but that's it, isn't it? She moved and she explored. So that's going to be it for our turns. So we're going to have to have another mythos phase see what happens gloria goldberg hears her name and turns to find her reflection in a glass cabinet in the reflection a fragment of paper sticks out from her pocket she wonders what it could be when she checks she finds a thick piece of folded parchment has appeared bearing a strange note gloria goldberg suffers two face down horror but will negates she has got four will so four dice on this test and she does have a clue so there we go she would suffer two horror but she has two successes which negates both of them and then she gains some incriminating evidence she can review the strange note by interacting with it in the app light flickers and for an instant shadows that were cast by nothing on this earth stalk across the wall no immediate effect okay and back to the investigator phase so i think straight away gloria is going to open up our backpack and have a look at this incriminating evidence so it is an action to do the backwards writing causes you some minor confusion while you attempt to read so we need an observation check her observation is also four so let's see what she can get here just the one no magnifying glasses to turn them into successes so she might need to try again on this the backwards writing is nothing compared to the ancient tomes you have encountered and you find yourself reading with ease my name is ada miller and i am trapped somewhere strange i need your help i think there is something in here with me i do not know how i got here but i need to get out hurry gain a clue so we have plenty of clues that's an action spent looking at the note but there is something to search for in here so i think gloria is going to interact with that and let's see what she can find so it's the grimoire shoved under the leg of the side table you pull out the book unbalancing the side table and take a look it is filled with annotations in a spiky handwriting so not looping handwriting someone else's i could have been a detective law four again Let's see what she can get this time. Three successes, no clues necessary. One, two, three. The annotations appear to be theoretical dimensional physics work. Someone was attempting to violate the barriers of reality. Not again. Respect the barriers, everyone. Gain the circumstantial evidence unique item. See hey, what she's got incriminating evidence. She's got circumstantial evidence. That is going to be her turn, though. So I wonder if these link up somehow these trapdoors since everything itself doesn't link up so finn can move in there and could move another space afterwards because it's a search action so we have a look he'll move for two and then let's interact with this and see where he wants to end up occasionally a rhythmic tapping noise comes from the cloth covered wall he's investigating it you lift the cloth but disturbing it causes the whole sheet to crumple to the floor the wall underneath is one massive mirror reflecting the hall the tapping seems to be coming from behind the mirror you lean closer trying to hear if it might be a rodent or other small creature the taps turn into loud measured bangs in response so for two face down horror will negates finn's will is very good as well it's four all checks on fours this game uh, and two successes so that negates both of the horror so he can listen to the banging bang back or leave the mirror alone well i think well listening to what about bang back to show that we can hear maybe bang back you hit your fist against the mirror and just for a moment the banging stops then it begins again with less measured beats and more quick and furious responses it is almost as if something is trying to communicate with you but you find nothing that would allow you behind the mirror gain a clue after a moment the banging stops and does not return so he is in a zone right now with three explore tokens perhaps he should just stay where he is he does have one free mo movement thanks to his basic skill yeah i think he's going to stay there maybe he'll investigate that next time so we've just got daniela left is she going to come in and investigate here is she going to investigate a trap door tell you what she is going to go all the way up here she could pick up the crowbar next time but she is going to explore all the way up here another solid oak door 
This bedroom shows signs of an inhabitant. It has been cleaned and it looks as though someone just recently made up the bed, though you notice a bed sheet missing. So Danielle has discovered the guest bedroom. The bedside table has been stacked high with works from recent authors including Agatha Christie, Langston Hughes and Virginia Woolf. A trinket, presumably belonging to Ada, has been left on the small desk. You may move one space in. So she's moved two already, hasn't she, to get up there. So that's going to be her turn. A lot of your actions are basically moving, aren't they? Uh, let's see. End the investigator phase. Mythos phase. Somewhere above, someone dumps garbage out the window. This infects the investigator in an alley or street. No, we're all inside a mansion right now. So no effect on that. And we're back to the investigator phase. Fine by me. So since we're on Daniela, she does want that lucky ring. Once per round, you may reroll all of your dice. She does want to do this search token, but she is going to move. She is going to pick up the lucky ring and she's going to move back at the second movement. I think that is going to be a very good thing to have. Finn is going to investigate this peeled back carpet and see if we found a link. It feels like we have, doesn't it? It's not going to make us loop all the way around, is it? Although if we're assuming that, why is he wasting his movement doing it? He's going to have a look in the bathroom. There's another solid oak door. The bathroom has been given a thorough cleaning recently. Good to know. A glorious antique cabinet gleams under the light. And Finn may move a space in. So he could also move a space out once he's done the search token is the advantage here. Because it's the only thing in the bathroom, so I suppose he will have a look. The cabinet is mostly linens, but a stack of strange tomes has been left on one shelf. One of the books contains words of power, though it takes you a moment to be able to read them. Gain the forced learning spell. Okay, so we've got nice arrays of things here going on, haven't we? I realise I've given everyone all of their spells. They haven't used any yet. Just get them all out, because when you use a spell, if you haven't played before, uh, you flip it over, have an effect, and then you draw a new copy of it. So a, a different effect might happen. So that's all there was in the bathroom for Finn. So I think he's going to use his free movement to go back in. So he had, he explored, he searched, and then he had his free movement back into this place. And Gloria is our last contender here. She is going to move in and see which object has been covered by a sheet. I've got a feeling it's going to be a mirror. So it's stained with a strange inky substance. You cannot determine what the stain was created from. Parts of it are still damp, the thick black liquid beading here and there. Whatever the substance is, the surface underneath must be covered in it. Uncover the objects. So we've come here to do although it could be terrible uncovering all of these mirrors. Uh, you pull down the shroud, expecting to see more of the inky substance on the object below, but the full-length mirror underneath is spotless. As you watch your reflection, a spot of the black liquid drips from an unseen source onto your forehead. You instinctively reach your hand to wipe away the liquid, but do not find any liquid on you. When you look back to your reflection, any sign of the liquid is gone. Suffer a face-down horror and gain two clues. So we're fairly clued up there. We've taken our first damage stroke horror of the game. It's face down, so no additional effects yet. That could well be flipped back up. So I think she'll use her movement then to just go back in there. And it's another turn where perhaps not that much got done, but we've got things that are hopefully going to be useful for later. I think. This Mythos event affects the investigator with the incriminating evidence, so that is Gloria Goldberg. There is a tinkling and then a crash as a souvenir spoon display falls from the wall to the ground. When you turn, startled by the sudden noise, you find a piece of thick parchment among the shining silver. It appears to be another strange note. So for two face down horror, will negates. So it's four will to negate that. Plenty of clues. So we negate both of it anyway. Some good rolls so far, I think. The investigator holding the incriminating evidence may review the note by interacting with it in the app. The corridor stretches on forever, lined with countless doors. This mythos event affects the investigator in an alley or hall who has suffered the most horror. So glory is in the master bedroom, guest bedroom, corner hallway. So that is going to be Finn. You open door after door trying to find your way. Will check needing one success. He's got good will as well, hasn't he? Oh, not so good there, but he can spend a clue to turn that magnifying glass into a success. You find yourself back where you started. Just not a bad thing happened. Uh, investigator phase again. And so I think... We've got a lot of nothing kind of around here. Gloria wants to go over here, and I think that's going to take us to this space, basically. We've kind of 
completely wrung out this side of the mansion, surely. Apart from the crowbar that's over there, which would be useful. Daniela is the only one without a weapon right now. But I think Gloria's going to look at the note. I'm risking a lot contacting you. Every time I break the barrier between worlds, it gets thinner. I do not think I should be meddling in magic. Whoever, whatever is in here, I think it knows when I meddle. Bad things happen. I am getting desperate. I remember when I first noticed something wrong about where I was. I was in the attic. Does that help you? I hope so. Please hurry. It is getting closer. Ada. Getting a clue. We're trying, Ada. And so that was a whole action. It's wasting us actions as well, Ada, reading your notes. Sorry to put you out, dear. I only get two actions a turn. Right. Let's move two spaces and we're ready to... Hopefully this leads here. Maybe it leads to just some completely other place. That would be cool as well. So does Daniela... Oh, wait, I don't want to leave. We, you can't get everything. A book could be really useful, but so could a crowbar. We're going to do the search token. The bedside table has been stacked high with works from recent authors. The books contain nothing but the notations of an avid reader. You attempt to open the side table drawer, but find it stuck. What a stroke of luck, actually, because Daniela, she probably would have found use for a spell. She's not bad at any skill, but she is great at strength. She has five strength. Watch her roll nothing now. Now, I've bigged her up. Okay, she gets one, but she can spend one of her many clues at the moment to turn that into two successes. And let's see what that leads to. The drawer gives with a loud snap and half of a bobby pin falls to the floor. Inside, you find something much more valuable, a key ring. Gain the old key's unique item. But that can't be a bad thing, especially when. Didn't we find out that this door's locked? I feel like we did. So that's investigated. And then is she going to waste a movement waiting there for the crowbar? Or is she just probably going to really regret this? She is going to stand here as well because I've got to mind you, if that's a secret passage, she'll just be able to walk through it. She's going to stand on the crowbar and maybe try and pick that up. So we've got some kind of weapon. So that's Gloria. That's Daniela. It's time for Finn. He is going to investigate his forced learning. So this tells us uh, as an action, you or another investigator within range can improve a skill of your choice and then flip the card. He's going to try and improve his law. Will he need that for a spell? He's going to improve his law. So get that there. I hope these are the good tokens and not the detriment tokens. Are there bad versions in this game? I can't remember. Maybe I'm thinking of a different Arkham file. Won't put it past me. The beauty of knowledge lies in its application. Law check needing three successes. Well, he does now have four dice towards that, but that's a, a pretty a pretty lofty goal there. And he does get two of them, but unfortunately, that means absolutely nothing. The knowledge overwhelms your ability. Suffer a horror. And that's going to be paranoia. Every noise makes you startle and jump. Even your companions unnerve you. Whenever you end your turn within range of another investigator, flip a horror face up. Oh, what a horrible one to get as your first one as well. So discard that and gain another forced learning. Do it again if you wanted to. But no, he is then going to... Let's have a look over here just so he could do something this turn. Because otherwise it's just going to be moving and not doing anything. So another solid oak door. The library is clearly one of the few rooms of the mansion in use. The shelves gleam with polish and a vast assortment of volumes pack the shelves. A stack of particularly sinister looking books has been piled next to the door. A box has been left open on the floor. And another nondescript oak door leads further into the house. You may move a space in. So that's it for his turn. But he can move an extra space next time, can't he, to get to one of those search tokens. So I think that's it for our investigator phase. The hairs on the back of Finn Edward's neck stand on end. He spins around as a harsh voice calls his name, but there is no one there. He suffers two horror. Will negates, but we know that he's got pretty good will. This dice tray's ended up far away from me. And he gets one success, but he does want to get rid of that, uh, well, stop that horror coming through. So he will spend a clue. And we are back to our investigator phase. So I think since she is peering into what we hope to be a trap door, let's investigate it. A shelf has been shifted awkwardly away from the wall, revealing a door. You go through the hidden door and find yourself in a narrow passage between walls that rises sharply. So we've got a secret passage on our hands here. The steep incline through the door leads you to the second floor. You emerge from the trapdoor into the hall. So there we go, exactly what we were hoping for. It has led, it has led Gloria back to Finn. Now since Daniela is so far away, she is going to pick up the crowbar, so that is an action. She could drop things as well, but she's not going to. And she is going to move one 
two spaces because they're connected now and that's her whole turn so next turn she is going to go here and she's going to try and open this because she has got the old key now finn is going to move but he's going to ignore this one he's going to go to the far one first because he could use this search token to bring him back later that's what i'm thinking he will move and then for free go here and search here so the stack of particularly sinister looking books you recognize these as occult tomes that depict a variety of strange and dangerous rituals but wonder why they have been gathered and left so his observation is four four dice again he does still have one clue he gets two successes does he want to turn that into three yes he has got no clues now two might have been enough but we'll never know one two three confirm surely that's enough a sheet of paper poking out from one of the books catches your attention you open the book to that page and find a note you recognize ada's handwriting ada no story is worth reading this book no one would read a story you wrote based on this book no one should have written this book great aunt seraphina was a terrifying old bat and if you start thinking about why she had this book you will end up with nightmares about this house again love your past self who is also desperate for a plot hook but not this desperate gain a clue so we've got one again now you glance over the bookmarked page and see the source of ada's consternation there are real words of power recorded here gain the shriveling spell so finn is really tooled up with spells so i think that's all of our turns then isn't it yeah gloria did the trapdoor she came through and got the crowbar he went all the way around and got the spell yes okay mythos I feel like we're taking our time now. So the mythos phase, this infects the investigator with the incriminating evidence. Gloria, the floor under your feet vibrates and shudders. Then a piece of paper forces its way up through cracks in the floorboard. It is made of the same thick parchment that first appeared. You bend over to retrieve it and add it to the previous note. So for two face down horror, will negates. And that's going to be two successes. And we can review the note by interacting with it in the app. The walls seem to close in around you. This mythos event affects everyone in an alley or hall. So that is Gloria and Daniela in the hallway. You cower against the wall, clutching your head and rocking back and forth. So for two horror, will plus one and negates. So that is going to be five for Gloria. To negate two, that's fine. And Daniela has three will so she gets to roll four she does have some clues glory's got loads she wants a puzzle or something only one so she does suffer a horror that's going to be minor shock ah your heart races and your breath catches in your throat no additional effect but she can only have six horror and we are back to the investigator phase so our first investigator i think is going to be daniela she is going to spend an action to move and then to explore in here because this door can only be explored by the investigator with the old key which daniela has found so she's going to explore that the attic is musty a lone shaft of sunlight serves as the only light there is no sign of ada in fact the room is empty except for one object an enormous mirror easily twice as tall as you and four times as wide dominates the shadows at the far end of the attic a white sheet is crumpled on the floor next to it so she can move a space in here she has got a movement left but that's not going to put her on the token nor anyone else this turn actually so i feel like we should be grouping up there but instead gloria is going to investigate this explore token i think or she could investigate the search token that's just to the side yeah she'll go to the search token finn will investigate something else uh, she'll press this a box on the floor has been left open the box is packed full with carefully wrapped baubles and scrolls you'll need to be careful to shift things around without breaking anything delicate so an agility check she has three agility not a best thing you know could could be worse uh, she gets two successes is that enough for the test you sift past the more mundane objects and find several perturbingly shaped statues you pull one out and a piece of paper flutters toward the ground it reads great aunt seraphina's heirlooms inquire with antiquities dealers later add it in a messy faint scroll underneath it or just throw the creepy things out gain the grotesque statue unique item and a clue and then finn is gonna investigate this door that perhaps you could argue we could have done at the start this door leads to an office that appears half inhabited the far side of the room contains a covered chair and an empty shelf but the desk and chairs near the door have been uncovered and dusted a small trinket has been dropped on the ground did this once belong to ada there's a pocket watch there 
which would let us perform an additional puzzle step when attempting a puzzle. Though everything else has been uncovered, something hanging on the wall is still shrouded. Another mirror, perhaps. You may move a space in. So Finn's moved, and now he's moved a space in. I think he has got another movement. So he could next time spend his movement. Use, he could search here, then move, and then grab the pocket watch. Let's look at what the mythos phase does to us, though. I th yeah, everybody's gone. Gloria Goldberg thinks she sees a shadowy creature stalking toward her. I've just realised, actually, Gloria's got a note she hasn't looked at. Will check needing two successes. She does have four will. And she gets just about two successes. She realises it was just a trick of the light. And back to the investigator phase. So first, Finn's easiest. Yeah, let's have him investigate this. It's the mirror. So I don't know if it's going to be really bad uncovering all of these. Beneath the sheet is an old dusty mirror with a tarnished silver frame. Examining it, you find nothing amiss. A strange engraving on the frame reads, Open the way. Gain a clue. And then he can have a free move action after, before or after a search. So he'll go there and he'll pick the pocket watch up. Should he need to do any puzzles? I think he did the very first one, didn't he? It was there. Gloria is going to move one and explore here. Most of the furniture in this room still has covers and someone has abandoned a broom on the floor. An aged portrait of a young couple hangs on the wall. Though the rest of the wall decorations have been uncovered, one has what looks like a bed sheet over it. There is a side table set between two chairs on the far side of the room, and you may move a space in. So I think Gloria moved one space. She gets her free movement there. I feel like, in a way, I feel like I should never have uncovered any mirrors. But now I've uncovered everyone so far, I feel like I should just keep uncovering more. So that leaves us with Daniela, who is going to move and interact with the monster of the mirrors, the ruler of them all, perhaps. This mirror is easily twice as tall as you and four times as wide. A white sheet is crumpled on the floor next to it. The longer you stare at the mirror, the more appealing it becomes. You reach out a hand to touch it and find you can push through the surface of the mirror. It feels strange, somewhat liquid. Then you feel a pull from the other side of the mirror. Become focused, then remove your investigator figure from the board and your turn ends immediately. Okay, that was our last investigator then, so I, I feel like we all need to go through this mirror then, probably. Which might take us a while. The mirrors of the house hum and vibrate so loudly you clap your hands over your ears. For a moment, reality seems to overlap on itself. Two versions of the room you are in, both appearing simultaneously. You squeeze your eyes shut, and when you open them again, you find your surroundings different. Clear the board. 